I have a great time with my life and I want to share it. I love living. I think that's infectious. It's something that you can't fake. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, godlike feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Period. It's that simple. I know who I am, and I know what I believe. I know who I am, I know who, what I believe. that's all I need to know. And that's all I need to know. So from there, you do what you need to do. You know, and I think what happens is we make this situation more complex than it has to because be. Because we're looking for complexity. There's got to be Absolutely. something complex to understand. It right can't now. be that easy. No. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things. You're getting off first, or I'm gonna die. It's really that simple. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened happened. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. The shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, holding him down. My man didn't scratch it, holding him down. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really wanna be successful, some days you won't have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta wanna be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Beyonce said once she was on the set doing her thing, three days had gone by, she forgot she didn't eat. 
because she was engaged. I never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50, and 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? Sleep, he said, sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. He said, I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flip, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say I don't need that money. Because I got it in here. <laughs>